Hi guys, Josh here. I am working in Gravit Designer again today and I actually had a project that I had to do for a, a client. This is a logo that I, I wouldn't say I created it. I didn't, I didn't design it initially, but what I did is I used Gravit to bring it from a very pixelated JPEG into a proper vector, scalable, crisp, clean logo. And there's a, actually a video on my YouTube page that shows that process in time-lapsed. What I want to show you in this video is how to export assets. All right, I briefly touched on this in the overview of Gravit. Also check the a playlist for Gravit Designer on my YouTube channel. And in the layers panel, if I have something selected here, down at the bottom, there is an export option. So let me select something that I have not added yet to my exportable assets. So this is a group. Okay, I've got all sorts of different shapes. I've converted all of my text to curves or raw paths, and it's just in a group here. So I've called this one the Blue Brook logo, right? So I have a few different versions of this, and I want just to export them all at once as separate individual files without a white background or anything like that. So this is what I'm telling Gravit to do. And it's really, really easy to do. I have this uh, group, this whole group selected. Down here at the bottom of the layers panel, let me zoom in on this. Okay, right down here it says make exportable. And there's this little add export, little plus icon. Not this one, this is slices. Yeah, I don't wanna create slices. I just wanna export what I have selected. So I'm gonna click that. And now you see by default, it'll bring it up as a, one times, that's the size, PNG. I could add a suffix here if I wanted to. Um, for example, I could just say color, and it would add it to the file name at the end of the file name. I don't want to have anything at the end of the file name. I want it to use the title or, or what I have named this layer group. And so I want the file name to be Blue Brook Logo, and then just add the file format at the end. So this is gonna be a PNG. I'm gonna actually tell this, you know what, do this at three times. And I wanna show you this. You could do it at one times, two times. So that'd be great for, you'd be able to export, uh, if you were designing something, say for web or a mobile app, you could do it at, at the exact size that you created it, as well as two times that for retina displays, high resolution, 4K, that kind of thing. You could do it at half as well. So if you're first designing everything, higher resolution. You can downscale it as far as size goes. I'm going to do three times. You can go all the way up to 300 DPI or an exact dimension. It's, it's just very powerful. So I'm going to choose three times the size that I have it in my document. And then you can add another export. This is so cool. So instead of a PNG at one times, and you see here, it was going to add the suffix for me at one times. I don't want that, but if you did, that's really, really handy. I want to export an SVG, so a scalable vector graphic. And one times is just fine on the size. That's what I want. So that's what I've added for all of these layer groups and these different versions of this logo. Okay, I wanted to have just a solid black and white version. I want to have an outline version, and I want to have this full color version with gradients and the shine. All right, so now that I've added both PNG and SVG to each of the things that I want to export. I'll go right up here and click on the little export icon right up here. Click that. It's going to bring up this dialog box. It's going to show me my canvas first. I don't want to export my canvas. I want to export my assets. See if I export my selection, it's only going to export what I actually have selected currently, but I want to export all of the assets that I told it to make exportable and check it out. Here's all three versions of the logo that I want to export. Plus, you see here it says Blue Brook logo. It's going to go three times and then a one times PNG and SVG. So I should get a PNG and an SVG file, an actual file for each version. Then I'll just click export and it's going to download these to my downloads folder. And I've got a zip file here. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and look at this. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six files in here. I'll extract those quickly. And I have a SVG 
extension for Windows that allows me to see th thumbnails, but it messes it up when I'm using um, just outlines, as you can see here. This one's fine. That's a PNG. So the PNGs are what I go by for my preview. I'm going to sort these by type. There we go. So here's my PNGs. You can see here these are nice and crisp and clean, high-resolution PNGs. And then if I open the SVG, I can open that in Chrome, actually, so that it and everything looks as it should. So I've got all of the vector data in there. And uh, let's just check as well. The outline's perfect. Yep. Right. And the solid black and white version. Great. So essentially with one export, I mean, I did have to just go over here into the layers panel and set those up. But what's so great about this is I can do that while I'm designing and just say, you know what, I'm going to need that icon in this entire piece. I'm going to need this image in this entire piece as a separate file. And I can go in there and set that to be exportable. Then when I go to export, I can export my entire canvas or I can just export those assets. Makes it super quick to be able to grab your assets. So I've got now on my hard drive, high resolution PNGs, which are great for all kinds of things. But in this case, they're incredibly important to be able to see, to make sure if I, if I send these SVGs to someone else and they open them up in Illustrator or some other program, that they look the way that they should look in the PNGs. And if they don't, perhaps they could use the high resolution PNGs that I've provided. So these are some very practical um, and useful features that um, I find actually more and more um, very essential for a vector graphics program. It, you can do the same thing in Sketch, but the fact that you could do this in your web browser, which means I can do this on my Chromebook, that's just incredible to me. And if you are using Gravit or have just started using Gravit, it's a lot more like the Sketch app for Mac than anything else that I've used, um, especially for a web-based application. So it's fantastic for prototyping, but also for creating high-fidelity renders of, of actual work and being able to export all of those pieces in, in incredible uh, fidelity. So check it out, man. Check it out. And uh, that's the export assets feature in Gravit Designer. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Bye for now.